Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see about how to install IP Fire Free Firewall. IP Fire is one of the high level flexible firewall with great features. It will work as a firewall, VPN gateway, proxy server, DHCP server, time server, catching name server, wake on LAN, DDNS, open VPN, monitoring, etc. So IP Fire is released under GPL license and it is totally designed to use free. You can use the IP Fire in any kind of virtual environment such as KVM, VMware, Zen, QUMU, Microsoft Hyper-V, Oracle VirtualBox, Promax, etc. And it can be run in ARM processor built machine such as Raspberry Pi. So during the IP Fire installation, the network will be configured into various different segments. So we can see about those segments during the installation. Those segments are green, red, blue and orange. So now we can see the installation of IP Fire now. For installing this, you need to have the latest IP Fire ISO image. So I will provide the link in the description. You can download it using that and you can use the ISO to install it. So now we can go to the installation. Uh, now I have successfully booted the ISO image. Now we can see the installation page. Now select install IP Fire. Now choose the language. Now select start installation. Now we need to agree the license agreement. Now press space bar to select it and tab to select OK. Now we need to format the disk to proceed with the installation so we can give delete all data. Now we need to select your file system. I'm going to choose the ext4 file system. If you want a XFS or different file systems, you can select those. I'm going to use ext4 file system. Now it is installing the system. Now select reboot. Now we need to select your keyboard mapping. I'm going to select US. And now you can select your time zone based on your region. Now you can enter your mission's host name. I'm going to set it as IP Fire. Now select OK. And you can enter your domain name. I'm going to use the default domain name. And now you need to provide your root user password which will be used to log in as the root user in the command line. So I'm going to enter the password now. So next you can see the admin password which will be used to log in to the web administration page. So you can enter this password now. Now we can see the network configuration menu. Now we can see the current config is green plus red. So we can see what are the network configurations. So there are four different segments here with the different four colors. Green represents we are in safe area which is the client in green area will be without any restriction and connected internally or locally. The red area indicates that we are in danger or the connection to the outside world. So nothing will be allowed from firewall unless the configured specially by the admins. So the blue represents the wireless network which is used for the local area network. And the orange is referred as the DMZ which is the demilitarized zone. Any servers which are accessible publicly or apart from the rest of the network to minimize the security breaches. So now we can see the network configuration. You can select the network configuration type here. I'm going to set it as default which is green and red. For this installation, you need to have two Ethernet cards. Now we can assign the cards. I'm going to choose green and select the Ethernet card now. And for red, we can choose another Ethernet card. So once we have set the Ethernet cards, you can give done. And for address settings, you can select this now. Now we can configure the green one which is the local network and click OK and I'm going to 
enter the local IP address and we can configure the red one which is the public network so I am going to select it as DHCP to assign the automatic IP for it now click OK now once configured you can click done if you are having the static IP address you can configure this gateway settings which will be used for the red interface I am not going to configure this so once configured you can click done now enable this network so we can give the start IP address and end IP address for this network I'm going to give it as 1.20 to 1.50 and you can give the secondary DNS if you need and click OK now the setup is complete now select OK now we can see the IP file login now enter the root username and the password to login and now we can see we have successfully logged into the server so now to access the web interface you can just go to your local windows machine I made a slight mistake during the IP configuration I set a IP address which is already assigned in my network so I have reconfigured the system now I have assigned the IP address 192.168.1.50 for the mission so after configuring it go to a browser you can browse the URL https colon double slash your IP address colon triple four you will be asked for the username password the username is admin and the password that you have set in during the installation now click sign in now you can see the IP fire web interface and you can see the LAN IP is 1.50 which I have set it now and the red interface IP is 1.5 so this is the interface of IP fire so here you can see the system configurations here and you can check the status of the system the memory graph swap graph we have the other options here and in the network you can see the web proxy URL filter and many other options we can see all the other options in the IP fire firewall in the coming videos thank you for watching thanks for watching this video post your comments and suggestions please share and subscribe to my channel press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos you can follow me on this instagram id and facebook page for any queries you can reach me on this skype id